Hi guys, so I thought I'd do a little video clip. Uh, I had a lot of people interested in this Nodo or Champions Choice Board and they just wanted a little bit more information so I thought I'd do a little video uh, just to show you what's it about and do a little comparison with this compared to the One More Blade 5. So the whole point of this is for you to focus on your doubles, trebles and bulls. So on your One More Blade 5, the doubles and trebles are 92 mil. So these here are 92 mil in the one more blade five, but on the no door it's actually 4.7 mils on the doubles and trebles. The one more bull is 12.2 mil, whereas this is 8.8 .8 mil. So there is a big difference between the trebles and doubles and bulls on this compared to your standard board. Also, on this one here, this one, this is like the first one out. And it's got like it's an old style dartboard and it's got thick wires and it's got huge chunk stables you do tend to get a lot of bounce outs on this so please be careful make sure there's no kids or pets around because uh, these do go bouncing very far you also can get the other version of this which is a thin spider web on it now so but this is your cheaper version this i think this is cost around 50 pound i'll leave a link below it's probably changed price since then but um, you can go check it out yourself. So what we'll do is, we'll have one leg on this and I'll do a leg on the windmill and we'll see after doing a week's practice on this, has it improved my averages? So let's go do that now. So what I've started doing as well is coming round, pause for a bit and then get into a position because in real life you don't walk to the board and come back up the hockey because obviously the next player so just try to keep that mindset. Ah, oh, too high there Neil. Stop talking just so. Too high, just too high. Oh. 
Ah, there you go. Just lost. Just lost. I went too high with that last dart there. Right, we'll skip past this. Let's see what the start says. So there you go. 65.86 is the score. First nine, 61.33. So what I'll do now is change the boards over and do another leg and see if there's much of a difference with um, using the training board. So watch the space. Okay, so that's me change the board over. So I've got the windmill blade five up. Again, we'll do another leg. See how what the average is and see how we get on. Oh dear. You start doing that with the first start. Dropped it. Feel that drop. Need to pay attention a bit better. Focus on your throwing you. I think I'm overthinking this. Just trying to hard to think. Just relax. Ah. Go. Good darts. As they say in the game, good darts. So there you go. Fast improvement. So it was 65 on the training board. I uh, used it for a week. And there, just in one leg, I managed to hit 71.57. And the first nine is 79.833. And 21 darts a man is winning. But um, yeah, so there is a difference in using a training board. It does help you concentrate. doesn't help your throw, but that's you need to learn your mechanics off your throw. But um, yeah, definitely worth having a training board. I think if you use it for maybe twice, two or three times a week for an hour, then just switch over. Um, you do see a difference. Those trebles and doubles and bull look massive now compared to the actual training board. So definitely worth looking into. Um, you can get them off your Red Dragon website as well. So I'll leave a link in the 
description box so go check it out um so yeah thanks for watching happy darting guys bye